Hello, I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak for Medscape. More than 10 years ago, a prospective randomized controlled trial was done comparing the effects of external beam radiation to external beam radiation plus three years of hormone therapy in men with high-risk localized disease or locally advanced disease. Previous publications have shown that there was a statistically significant improvement in survival. The authors have now published their 10-year survival results in Lancet Oncology in October, and the results continue to show a statistically significant improvement in survival. Overall survival was only 40% in the men getting radiation alone, compared to 58% in men getting the combination treatment. The other thing was how many men died from prostate cancer. It was 30% in the control group, it was only 10% in the men getting combined therapy. Importantly, they saw only two fractures develop in the course of treatment over that time period. The important findings here are not only that there is a statistically significant improvement in survival, but the authors found no added cardiovascular mortality in the men getting hormone therapy. They were just as likely to die from heart disease if they had received or not received the hormone treatment and that was the same finding whether or not they had a history of heart disease or they did not. So despite previously uncontrolled trials that have suggested an increased risk of heart attacks or heart deaths, that has not been found in this study with even longer follow-up or in other prospective randomized trials that involved hormone therapy. The take-home messages are clear that men should certainly be offered this duration of hormone therapy if they're going to receive external beam radiation and fall into the high-risk categories. A debate continues about how long hormone therapy should be delivered. A previous study from Europe showed that when six months was compared to 36 months, the six months was significantly inferior. A U.S. study suggested and showed that 28 months would benefit certain risk groups of men who got the combination treatment. But until we have further information, we may wrestle over the question whether you need a full 36 months or whether something less than that will do the job. Until that occurs, however, it seems very important that all men that present with this situation are offered the duration of hormone therapy that has been proven to be beneficial. And without further studies, I don't believe that we should alter that. Unfortunately, in my experience of talking around the United States, I've seen far too many urologists that are not aware of these data and tend to use six months, 12 months, two years of therapy in patients that fall into this risk category and yet they have no data to back up that amount. I think it's important that we recognize the need to do, follow the results of prospective randomized trials when they deliver these kinds of results and we can take some reassurance in not seeing yet a significant worsening of cardiovascular deaths. Hopefully you'll find this information helpful and I look forward to your comments. Thank you.